Hello, the internet Saffred here, back in the Spirit Fairer. And apparently I advanced the quest. Yeah, I know you need fried chicken, but I don't know how to make a bucket of fried chicken. Unless I just gotta cook a bunch of chicken. Um. So I'll, I'll have to figure that out. Oh, I'm sure Atoll is probably hungry, too. He hasn't been fed in a while. Yeah, I, I know! He needs fried chicken! Okay, um... So let me... Oh, Astrid. Alright, Astrid. Coming, my dear. Ah. I don't know why, but it hurts to see him go. I didn't think it would, but here we are. And it was the right thing to do. Thank you for your help, Stella. Now I... I need some time. I need to be alone for myself for a while, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Thank you for being here by my side. Okay, you're welcome, I guess. Uh -huh. I'm sure you can find something to tr- Oh, he's kind of hungry. Here, how about some strawberries? There, he likes some strawberries. He's good with that. All right, so we gotta go to Hummingbird, and we have to go to Southport. Um, all sorts of places to go. Okay, whoops, what is that? Oh, that's right, um, we won't get the edge bird just yet. Uh, what is this? Oh, the South Point Docks, because that's where we need lemonade. Since we're in this area, let's head there. <laughs> All right, Giovanni, what's up? Bambina? <laughs> hey, Peanut, you must have noticed it by now, but I'm not exactly welcome at Astrid's house here. What can I say? It's not my fault that I'm irresistible. I was born this way. The ladies like me. What can I do? Leave them alone? That would be terribly rude of me. Oh, uh, okay, okay. You don't need to give me that look. I get it, you know. I probably would have done the same. Okay, maybe not exactly the same. But yeah, I know, I know. Hey, you know what? Her loss. I won't come crawling. I'm above this type of behavior. That being said, the deck is a bit frisky at night, though, and I miss having at least a sofa to rest on. What to do? Think, Giovanni, think. Maybe. Hey, Bambina, could I ask you a favor? Just a teensy-weensy little thing for your favorite Giovanni. I need a place to rest now. Oh, you know what? A nice lounge would be sweet. Yes, a lounge. A funky space at the crossroads between a bar and a den. A place where we could all unwind and have a fun time, you know. I could even sleep in there. Come on, do it for me, will you? I'll be on the tap for it. Thank you, Bambina. Thank you. Yes, um... I don't think I can build a lounge yet, because I think I need zinc. <clears throat> oh yeah, now we're at the South Point docks, where we need lemons. And we gotta take it back to Oxford. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, but I don't think I can build a lounge yet. Because I need zinc. I don't have zinc yet. Okay, I'm coming, Astrid. Oh, Munchkin, I feel so foolish, so naive. Why did I think he could change? How could I hope he would have been any different? This lying, cheating scumbag. And you. How could you do this to me? Why do you feel the need to tell me the truth? Don't you think some things are better left untold? That some secrets deserve to, be, to stay unspoken? I'm so mad at you. Look, I know you believe you did the right thing, but things are not that simple. It's not always a matter of honesty versus duplicity. I'll... Mm -hmm. I'll take some time alone now. See you later, Stella. Fine! <laughs> You're the one that asked me to do it! But you get for being honest. And if I wouldn't have told her, and then... You know, she would have found out later anyway, then I'd have been in trouble for lying to her. We can't win. Going ashore. You there! You're here for the lemons? Oh good. Listen. Be cool and don't worry about it. Just take these lemons and get out of here. I don't want them in my life. I don't need the trouble. Cause they're lemons? The lemon dragon. Oh, hello. Hey kid, help me out over here. There's this guy over there? Don't look at him. Look at me. Yeah, so that guy, he's been giving us a hard time. He's been making it like difficult for us. He's been screwing up our whole operation. 
can't get into any details with you. Let's just say it would be great if you could take a permanent vacation. You know, I just needed to take care of him. Got it? Do it nice and quiet. You don't look like much, but I can see it. You got the eyes of a damn killer. Let's see what you can do. <gasps> really? I even know who I'm supposed to be looking at. What are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Okay, okay, relax. Wait a second. Did those two knuckleheads ask you to intimidate me? Stop looking at me like that. You can drop the act. I can't be muscled out of this job. I've got mouths to feed. I'm not gonna let two tough guys boss me around. They were so obvious, too. They were asking around for someone to help ship contraband to the other islands. That's not gonna fly with me. You can tell them what you want. I don't care. Make something up. I don't know what. You told me that you would eat my goldfish one by one until I broke. Do you like that? I've got others. I'm actually a writer in my spare time. Anyways, as long as I get off my dock and move on. Alright? Good. Okay then. My boss told me to come in early today. That a-hole isn't even here. Probably stuck in traffic. I'll just go get a coffee or something. Um, it's actually, like, pretty late in the evening, but, you know, I guess. My overtime pay hasn't come yet. I'll be done doing... Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, or... I guess I wasn't expected to find ore on the docks, but I will take it. Coal. Nah, quite coal it is. Hi, Astrid, my dear. Iron. I'm picking up some ore, yep. Okay, what do we got up here? Marble? What is this? Is this my zinc? Sure is! Finally got zinc! There's a form for every occasion. That's why they call me the form man. Uh, it's actually Prowl's form man, but my way is funnier. Yes. <laughs> See, anything else I can loot? I'll get to you, Mr. Wooly Bully. Oh, can't quite get there yet. Can't get there from here. Can't go down through the floor either. I gotta try Okay, can't get it. Can't get there from here. Look at that! He's shaking in his boots. What a coward. I couldn't see from over here. What did you see? What did you use? The backwards tangerine? The old tightrope shuffle? Doesn't matter. He looks broken. You broke that man, kid. For that, you get the privilege of giving us a ride. Let's go to your boat. Oh, okay. I didn't do... I didn't do anything. Really? I, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Whatever, I guess. If he thinks... Let he can think what he wants, I guess. Oh, I already got that. Okay. And Astrid's over here. Yeah. Looks like I got whatever I needed here. I got lemons and a bowl, apparently. Another mouth to feed. Yay. My cooking done? Oh, can't check it yet. <clears throat> I gotta go greet our new visitor first. Or guest, I guess it would be. Hey, you, what are you looking at? Boom! Hi! Oh, right. You don't look at him. I do the talking. Ah! <laughs> My brother Mickey is a silent type. Nice! If you have a question, you gotta go through me. Capiche? Right? You did a pretty good job with that- with bullying that idiot. Easy stuff. My brother doesn't think you've got the chops around this boat. I might just take it from you. Yeah, let that sink in. See you around. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the little hummingbird carries him around, that's hilarious. <laughs> 
Okay, what, what's going on? I found something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift for my collection. I hope you appreciate it. Yep. Okay, thank you. I don't know why he's doing jumping jacks right there, but whatever. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, this guy first. Kid. You gotta show us what you're made of. You gotta. Hmm. You gotta go fight some pulsar rays. Yeah. Good idea, Mickey. He wants to see you get in a fight. There should be some around here. Make it happen. Well, I'm not ready for that yet. Ugh. Bambina, this is perfect. I couldn't have even hoped for such a lavish salute. Can't wait for to rest my feet on the sofa. Hey, Peanut, want me to fix you a drink? Yeah, come on, you know you want one. With just a dash of vodka. A virgin Caesar, then? Really? Nothing? <sighs> Suit yourself. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to pour myself a little pick-me-up, all right? Catch my drip? Right, wrong crowd. Ciao, ciao. Aha! <sighs> oh, I can play the music! Okay, that's okay, though. Or I can sit on the couch. And that's it. Okay, now I've got mail. Check that out. Oh, that's right, I had that feedorama thing. <laughs> okay. So we gotta go deliver those lemons. Oh, wait. No, yeah, I was up here, wasn't it? Or was it in Oxford? I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? No, wait, no, we're good. We had to be here anyway. Because we had to talk to this guy. Oh. You, you talk to her? She said she'll have me back? Incredible. No more sleeping in the park. No more surviving off trash. Back to my dream life. Leisure and good good food all day long. Thank you. Thank oh. you so much. With side appreciation, I'll wave my feet. There you go. Here's a final design. Look at the curves. Look at the perfect fit of the materials. Oh. Truly a masterpiece. Vintage modernist desk. Okay. So now we can build that at some point. <laughs> Collect all the stuff here. I don't know why I'm going to need a bouquet of roses, but I'm going to take it. There was one tree to cut down. We're going to take it also. Go to Oxford. <laughs> then deliver the lemons. That's back up here. We're just gonna do the travel safe mode. <laughs> Alright, so here we are back in Oxford. Oh, oh, what do you got for me, Uncle Atoll? Gather some berries, but well, oh yeah, he's got berries for me! Yay! Like, I'm trying to make fried chicken free. I just, I don't know how. I just don't know. I'm gonna have to just start, like, recipeing. Lemonades. There we go. This is amazing. You really pulled through. I was worried for a second. I had some pretty bad people breathing down my neck. For lemons. I know, right? People are hyped up on those darn lemons. Anyway, you did good. Thank you for the lemons and here's a little something for your troubles. I got 5,000 glims. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know that I need to buy that. Oh my gosh, mulberry seeds are expensive! Oh my gosh! And I 
got to put them in an orchard. I didn't realize how expensive those damn things were, but that's how you get silk. <laughs> damn it. Listen. Well, I don't know about you, Munchkin, but this place is a trash hole. She wants that worthless wish riff raff she can have him. I won't shed a tear for him. I've got better things to do. I won't have him back either. You'll be stuck with his problems, not me. It's all fun and games right now. You'll be crying your little eyes out soon enough. Harlot. <laughs> Aha! Hello, friend. Yep, friend. <laughs> sure. I spent all that money on mulberry trees. I'm planting them. <laughs> all right, I'll be right there, Giovanni. What do you want now? What do you want for the lounge? Can I make vodka? I have potatoes. That's how you make vodka, isn't it? Potatoes? Bambina. Look, Pina. I think I've overstayed my welcome on this ship. I know, I know. I've only just joined you guys recently, but... I don't exactly have any say in this, you know. I wish I had. Don't worry, I had a jolly good time. No regrets. I did love that lounge. A bit too much, maybe. I think you might need to restock. Okay, let's go. You know the way, Bambina. Aha! Oh, okay, I'll get to you in a second. I made some more bouillabaisse. Rice, rice flour, corn flour, wheat, and wheat flour. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to regret doing this with all of my chicken, but it's fine. Oh, oh, <laughs> over here. Over here. I love that big bully bully. He's cute. I don't beg for food. Just keep that in mind. Oh, so you're hungry. How about some self shellfish stew? Free grub, finally. Okay, can I hug? <gasps> oh, and his little humming, that's so cute. All right, all right, don't tell anyone. No, oh, I love that, it's adorable. Pack this stuff quick. Oh, there, I'm like, do I not have- I knew I had stuff to plant. There. Okay, so then let's call it a night. And we know what to do in the morning. All right, where is Giovanni? Hey. Bring Giovanni to the Everdoor. Oh, here we go, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, Bambina. You know, I'm not exactly thrilled, but I've got to go. Mm -hmm. Ready to bring me there? Yes. Yeah, I think it's the best decision. Let's go. <laughs> this guy just cracks me. I love him. I just adore him. The second I saw you, I knew you were someone special. Someone who, no matter what happened, would always be there to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. I could see that in people. See the cracks in them. It's easy. Light shines through. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why I fell in love with Astrid. Ha, mm -hmm. <laughs> Astrid. She was the toughest nut you could imagine. But she had such an intense light inside shining through. Warmth and fire, too. Mm -hmm. 
Her laugh made Moulton's tremble, and everyone was happy when she was around. I was happy. I've always spent so much time making sure other people were having fun, making jokes and being the funny guy, but they only came for her, really. Her, majest her majestic, raw, radiant soul. But you, Bambina, you've got that look in your eye. That soft, killer vibe. I saw so much of me in you. Your bravery, your sense of humor, your gusto. I know it's hard doing what you do. Accompanying people towards their end. It takes more than guts to do something like that. It takes a soul of steel. But hey, good news. You've got it. You've got it, Bambina. Even if you doubt, even if you don't have faith in yourself, I have so much faith in you. So much faith in your strength. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, Peanut. Now and forever. And hey, if you need anything, I won't be far. Mm -hmm. I'll be right there, standing right beside you. I'll always be there. Always. I know I shouldn't leave so soon. Believe me, I wish I could have stayed longer. Right here with you, Peanut. Mm -hmm. Promise me you'll take care of Astrid when I'm gone, okay? And don't miss me too much, will you? I've never deserved you anyway. Mm -hmm. But I've loved you, and that won't stop me if I'm not around anymore. The ones who really love you never really leave you, you know. Mm -hmm. Life is amazing, isn't it? A whirlwind, a tremor, a flickering flame. I've tried so much to live to the fullest. Mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Nothing but leaving Astrid. Nothing but leaving you, Stella. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have seen you grow up even more, but here we are. All right, pour yourself one for me, will you? Ciao, Bella. It wasn't so hard. It wasn't as hard as some of the others, but... Ah! The lion. Oh, we're here again.
so you return, Spirit Fair, humbled by your confusion, your disarray, your fear. Time and again you call me by my name. You whisper echoes of my essence to those too afraid to hear it. You stand before me. Hesitation floods your heart. You seek to tame, but you only serve. And now you truly see me. See what I inflict upon those you love. All these paths you've crossed, these souls you've embraced. Their lives intertwined with yours. Their faces etched upon your memory. You've opened your heart to the suffering of others. And in return, their spark warms your heart and shapes your fate. Every spirit a reminder. Every spirit to goodbye. What do they teach you? Their struggles, their drama, their memories, your memories? Are they saying their farewells or are you saying yours? But you are not ready yet, Stella, and these souls still need you. Carry on your task, Spirit Fairer. Soon your time will come, and we will meet again for the last time. Second encounter. One last drink for the road completed. Spirit flower. It's a saffron. Anyway, then I guess that's a good place to end the episode. So, and I'll probably do some more stuff mingling back and forth and shit farming, whatever, off screen. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, ring that bell, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all later.